I straight up got unlucky as fuck. I did everything right, I swear to Christ. The only thing I did wrong was let uh, one of my time mages die immediately. Which was unfortunate. Put it like that. I'm like mad about that. She's better over here. That fucking 75 miss. This fight is so cheap. You have 8 enemies for 5 allies, and they're way over leveled compared to me. I could level up, but like shit. It wouldn't help that much. It's just the fact there's eight of them and five of me. I feel like I always end up, every playthrough I end up grinding in this fucking location. I'm pretty close to that that map, the uh, uh, Belly Swale, no, whatever it is. The map that's like the fucking bog that I just saved Agrius in. I feel like every single playthrough, that's the only place, that's the only map you can get random battles in, in this one fight. That's so annoying. I got a pretty early, like, steal too. I think it was second attempt. Oh my god, that's so annoying. I could convert my characters from Time Mages to something else. The fact that they're casting Time Mages is actually pretty helpful though, to be honest. That time magic miss I got on myself really early on. This bitch doesn't have anything useful to do. That's one of her problems. more useful on the other side. That was one of my problems. But the problem is if I move here, I'm gonna invite every single knight to me. Rather than moving up there. Rather than all of them fucking me. You need to work. You must be a Euro. If this misses Rom, so I'm straight up resetting. Alright, 36%. Let's get this fast. And that Rom's like gets swarmed by every enemy. I made helmet broken last time, that was unfortunate. That's very low odds. That knight was out of the picture really early on last time because I got a lucky uh, stasis sword. She got the move fight item, fucking item. What are the odds of that? This fight is so bullshit. Uh, can't hit that bitch. I can't hit that bitch either. Yep. I gotta attack someone else. I could attack her. That would be okay. She's like the best person I can attack. That's a good start. Look at all this abuse I'm taking. Nice, that was lucky. Things are about to get really hairy unless I get a steal off though. 
Yes, low faith. I did that. Jeff Garrett's turn isn't even for a while. Who the fuck is Marguerite? It must be this archer. Margaret with an E. Um, I think the square that I'm on with Ramza. The correct play. Not Ramza, but the Tylee standing. I could go up there and attack the fuck out of that um, Time Mage. I'd like to be able to cast on her. This tile is correct. Crookie can beat the fuck out of her. Crookie beat the fuck out of her. Got it! Things are good. I don't care about that. I think it rums the fuck out of here, though. attack that's meaningful. That's my unit. That's my attack that's meaningful. That guy would be nice. The variant is now pointless. We can just do it. Alright. He's wounded. Ramza can stay healthy pretty easily because I can just jump. I have to be really mindful of where I put my units in case they die on those squares. I need to be able to revive them easily. This bitch should only have time magic, so she shouldn't be that hard. Even if she casts slow on me, that's pretty annoying, but... Uh, it would be super swell to just kill this time mage before she can cast that, but it's probably not even going to resolve properly. And casting stasis sword on these two would also be super swell, so... We've killed the knight entirely, and Gafgarian is still a little bitch who can't do any- FUCKING HE'S ALIVE! He's got stopped, though. How the fuck did that only do 30? I should have done- I should have checked the damage of Northwind Strike on him. Watch Gafgarian fail to do anything. He might have item, right? He can have item. If he uses a high potion, that's gonna be annoying. He's using fucking Tanglevine! That's not too bad. That was his Geomancy. I guess his, his second ability is like randomly generated. 50. I'd really like to hit that bitch. A lot of spells about to resolve, which means I don't have to be afraid of anything, except they're resolving all, the, all these spells. Um, unfortunately, there's literally no one I can hit, like, meaningful. The most important part of the person to target is literally that archer. If I do this, how much damage does it do? I can't fucking gauge the damage. Going into the thick of it, wish me luck. No, I'm better off going up here. This looks hella awkward. But trust me when I say it's the right play. Got that charging that threw me off last fight. Alright, that's unfortunate. Jump turns into a fucking shit spell. I mean skill. When you're slow. Alright, things are getting really awkward really fast. That was aim plus 5. Powerful. My Rams is now in a super fucking bad position. This is Final Fantasy Tactics. I've still got my Rezzer alive, so it's okay. How the fuck? And why the fuck? Why'd you make that shot? And how did you make that with a crossbow? I didn't think crossbow could shoot that kind of vertical range. Crossbow is better at shooting vertical than bow is, honestly. Literally, the person I need to attack is that time mage, and it does like nothing. The thing I need to do is haste Ramsa. 
Um, that's actually gonna happen. Uh, if I do that, he can't move. My best place to move one down and then haste him. Um, Kira. Leovold and Gafgarian. Gafgarian's really far away. Leovold is his dying god. No. Uh, Leovold's that dude. Okay, he's not even a threat. I can heal Ramza. Again, I need to target him. Ramza should kill this dude. Because I'm, I don't want that guy to have a turn. Far away in case I miss somehow. So no one's dead on my team. I've killed a couple of theirs. Nice dodge. The enemy archer is the currently the scariest thing. It's actually really good that he didn't attack Ramza for whatever reason. Because I wasn't thinking about that, to be 100% honest. I did accidentally cure Gafgarian, and that's unfortunate. But he's basically a non-threat, so... I really need to kill that time age. In fact, I think that's my current goal, is to kill that time mage. A critter! With Northwain. Didn't know that could happen. Um, I can probably just go over here and then just attack her. Ninety-five percent. Nice. Alright, so that archer is still a problem. We've got two knights with both pretty healthy, but to be honest, um, I'm pretty sure that I can just solo them. She is literally her turn right now. We share the exact same CT. The crits! Oh my god, this is like an apology for all those bad rounds I had. Alright, two archers right at the top, plus my character can restore MP. And all of them are relatively healthy. I could have gotten closer to cast that haste on myself. Wow, it is. No odds. Ah, oh, that could be really annoying depending on whether he gets the stop on either of them. It's like one in four. I got it. I'm one of them. Alright, Gafgarian is trying his hardest to be actually annoying. There goes half my HP. I lost 50 for that, so he might as well have hit me. If I can just get a North Wayne strike to instant kill. Yeah, that. Yeah, that. Alright, now I'm once again in a basically unlosable position. Ramza needs to kill this bitch. I don't want her getting another turn. Alright, this is going to be the... This is basically going to seal the deal. I should now be pretty much like... 12 MP, it doesn't look like a lot, but it's a lot. Let's do spells for both of them. I got a little healthier too. This Tangle Vine is annoying, dude. Will of the Wisp. He has that. He put me to sleep! Gafgarian is doing his best. Um, I'm out of range of like everything. It's 
stop war off anyway. We got a crystal. I can't get it. Targeted there. You could have got both of them. Bad AI. Can I take that crystal? He didn't have the move. It's a wonderful world we live in. This haste should make this sleep wear off sooner, I think. Ah, oh. I'm okay with all this bad luck, like right at the end. Dago's gonna get that crystal, but he's got full health, so. I don't give one half of a shit. It's funny that I can- wait, no, yeah! Oh no, it's because I can't target anything. No, yeah! I should be able to target all these guys, it's because I've got something on top of my head. Get that crystal, get that crystal, get that crystal. I'm okay with that, you can destroy every helmet I have. Just take the crystal so I can't get it. Yes. I think it's too far away that I can't cast based on, yeah. Look how high up I am! This position is actually quite good. Does Gafgarian leave? Oh shit, I forgot about that. Gafgarian leaves. I could have had him out of the way. Well, I basically know faster. Which is just from one time mage. Unfortunate. I could win right now. So we ended up doing it successfully. I got pretty lucky. Or rather, well I did get pretty lucky, but like I got really unlucky the other time, so I feel better. I want that crystal. I want it on Ramza, I guess. I want to learn all these abilities. We got Rend Armor and Parry. Those are both okay. the other dead time mage. Be at least one more. Wasn't there? Oh, she's... There she is. What's her number? I can't even fucking see it. You literally can't see it at all. There's no zero. Okay. Now we play the waiting game. How long are you gonna sleep, bitch? I didn't know that could be blocked. Ren Helm just does... it's just a regular attack if they don't have a helmet. That's not how it worked in the original release. In the original release it would just fail. They like buffed it. I want to not kill him actually. Sounds silly. I'd rather stop him. Didn't get the stop but it's fine. Agrius was super useful. Ah, oh, we got a treasure chest, that's a shit. Get these skills. Skill deal on aim plus five, whatever. Mm, that should be GG. Jesus Christ, that fight. What about that, guys? We, we managed it. That is not a fun fight. That is not a fun fight. Got the blood sword on the second steal. Oh, cutscenes. Our princess cannot live on pride alone. This is an interesting conversation. Oh, I believe it doesn't get to have the full. It 
seem lavish enough quarters for a false princess. This is the second time uh, Fulmarf has appeared. Oh, he said it. False princess. You are not Avilia at Kastja. Your princess died years ago. You are her double. You are a straw doll placed in an empty crib by council members who bear no love for the queen. <laughs> so intent you would someday succeed the throne and relieve Queen Liberia of her power. They placed you in the royal family after assassinating the queen's two eldest sons, attributing their deaths to Melody. King Andori was sickly and it seemed unlikely to father another son, but against all odds another prince was born. Whether he is in truth Andoria's seed is highly suspect, of course. So it could be that there's just two fucking fake babies. You may be born a butcher's daughter for all it concerns us. Very interesting. I better have enough for Dragonheart. Motherfucker, I still need a bunch. I need a hundred and some. Dragonheart would make the next fight pretty easy. I got the Blood Sword. That's pretty cool. It's not super strong, but you know. Archer level four. I need Archer level four, right? I'd like Adrenaline Rush. That's still like 130 away. That would be super swell if I could get that. That would be like the best reaction ability ever. I have Counter. Do I really need Adrenaline Rush? It might be time to just go be um, a thief for a bit. Oh, thief is going to be shit for this next fight. I don't have a single thing I can be that will be helpful for this next fight. Except Monk. Monk would actually be super swell. It might be time to grind just a smidge. I need a new helmet. <laughs> I guess that's something broken too, right? Yeah, her helmet. Sure. We need to be level 4 time mages, I think. So that's good. And you? Level 3 time mage. Pretty close, though. A lot of available classes on this character. Making progress. Big foray into the game. I don't need any of this crap. I don't need any, any of that for either of them. I have Summoner unlocked. Summoner is a pretty good class. It's actually like a garbage class in terms of it. raw attributes. Their magic is really good and I think their MP total is the highest in the game, but everything else about them is terrible. Especially their HP. Summoner is arguably... Summon is a really good skill set, and you can't use Arithmetic with Summon, so... Summoner is basically one of the two best final classes for the um, Mage lines, along with Black Mage. Arguably Summoner is the best, I guess. I don't know. I like Black Mage a little more, because it has slightly higher magic power, and you don't need MP, like, for um, Arithmetic. But uh, the lack of... Uh, <laughs> Excuse me. The lack of um, some other various attributes. The lack of summons. Summoner is the most expensive class to master by a pretty generous margin. It literally takes more than 10,000 JP. You can't master every class, every skill at once in this class. They're just so goddamn expensive. Bahama in particular is 1600, which is like the like fourth or fifth most expensive thing in the whole game. Half MP. That sounds useful, but it's not. 
I gotta recover MP. Sounds useful, but it's not. What exactly is my goal right now? This bitch needs to get Thief level 5, which is going to take an hour and a half. Hour and a half is probably realistic. She's already got like a little bit of... Even though she's never been a Thief before, she's level 2 Thief because of Rom's spillover experience. Poach would be nice. I want move and jump, but I should get enough for both of those. But move and jump soon would be good. Steel Gill only costs 10. But I'd rather just attack. Steel Heart, like, no. I basically need some experience. I can job away from this now, right? Level 4 Time Mage, level 5 Black Mage. I think I need to be a White Mage for a while. would be super useful on those guys. I pretty much need to do a random battle or two. God, that was a good fight. I'm glad I got it. The next series of fights is really hard. An alien plateau. Is this one of the added scenes? Oh, this is... No, this isn't the original. Wygraf, remember this guy? He didn't die. We didn't kill him. I thought to deliver swift vengeance, yet here I am before you. My own blade sheathed beside me as yours lies sheathed within the earth. Wygraf had a hard life. That's... Joffrey, I think? Jeffrey? I don't remember what his name is. Lawfrey. His name in the original release was Rawful, like R O F E L, which is like a hilarious, like, of all the things they could have translated it to. I think his Japanese name is literally like Rawferu, so it's like, what the fuck is that supposed to be? Lawfrey is probably the most generous thing you can get out of that. Lawfrey is a pretty cool name, very nighty. This is um a very important character. So is Wygraf, but. This guy's this guy's this guy's influence can be felt throughout the entire game. He's also a very forgettable character because he is literally the side man every single time he appears, except for this one. You have my ears. To every coin there are two faces. Catching Wygraf in his moment of weakness. Wygraf was a good guy. He was a good guy on the opposite side of the fight, but he was a good guy. So now we can get an Osafune. We can probably get other cool stuff. Oh, we got a new armor. It's not really any better, though. 8 HP is not super important. See what we can do with uh, Agrius. The Golden Shield. I'll give a fuck. Any interesting items? Can I get like a tier 3 spear? I can buy a flail now. Can't buy spears at all. Got the Mage's Staff. Isn't that like mag plus 1? That's super good. Wait, I should get that on everyone. What the fuck? Why was that not recommended? Why is different staff recommended over that? What the fuck? In what universe? because this is lower power, but it's higher magic. What the fuck? Higher magic is like a billion times better. I don't care about my fucking physical attack. This game is so stupid with its auto... auto-equip.
I never used it in FF12, but that had a much better auto equip than this game does. Bring a chocobo along. There's still only two. Bring the higher level one. If you ever manage to get two like towns next to each other, there are a couple instances of that later in the game. You can just move infinitely between them. And if you have monsters, the monsters can breed infinitely. So you can just breed like super high level monsters if you want to, or like a fuck ton of them. That cat is a fucking bitch. There's a Pisco Demon. There were two Pisco Demon bosses in um FF12. There's an actual one. Need a whole bunch of JP. I'd be spamming if you can accumulate if I could. That enemy has a super annoying skill. No, it's not this one, it's the level 3 one. Bring us Earth. Good luck me ever using that. These things are... This is a squid racket. A soft-bodied monster covered in slime. It has no skeleton. It has water breathing. Absorbs water. What does Discord do? Is that not the first one? It's... Uh... Harmony. We got a black chocobo. I still have concentrate equipped. Ramses is not going to get very much experience this fight. I'd be better off using it to kill the enemies. Yep, since I have concentrate equipped, I don't have gain JP up. Which basically means I'm not going to get very much JP. The black truck was on his way over. I think Trucker was float, but I don't remember. Like, not float, like, have float attribute magic, magic fucking status. Float, like, they literally float on water. You can put them on depth to water and they just hover above it. I think. Let's see. Yeah, he's floating. I took about some shit HP. The crit! Remove the most dangerous enemy in one second. my time age to get like a little bit of magic off. I need the job level up with time age. Time age is honestly one of the classes that I've never really given a shit about. It's too similar to every other mage class, but without like the useful things. Every mage class has something that makes them super interesting except time age. It'd be kind of fun to have like a time age only playthrough because of that. Because I've never given it the time of day. Get it. Get it, get it, get it. There's a thing called SCC in this game. It's not in this game, it's just a thing that people do related to this game. But SCC stands for Single Class Challenge. You try to beat the game using only one one class. You're gonna hop on the chocobo. This is something you can only do with chocobos. You get on top of them. Black Chocobos are arguably the best of the three colors to ride. Because, um... They can fly. Meanwhile, the other two Chocobos do not fly. I should just go over here and just cast Thunder and that thing should die. It's too far away. Let's 
Uh, it's that one, the paper. Don't even kill him. Ooh, flare have an extra. Yeah, flare has an extra square of range. That will utterly annihilate the thing. I think it's already dead. What am I about motion data? That's a uh, D. Flare has such a cool animation. It can be blocked. Holy is a spell that's pretty much the same thing, but I think marginally stronger. And also Holy Element instead of Elementless. Um, but Holy can't be blocked and Flare can, which means that Holy is technically the better spell when calculating most of the time. I can't get a counter because he's too high up for me to attack. Even though my counter rate is quite high. Yes, look at this. Look at my move range. It's because I'm riding a trickle bow. Trickle bow flies. But I'm killing the cat. What happens if you use jump when you're on a trickle bow? For science. Alright, the trickle bow just sits there. The best thing I could do is go over here, use chakra, and then cast a spell. Christ, I'm going to send this thing into the next fucking planet. This is better off to attack without it getting a turn. And I've just won. I guess I could hit my Chocobo. I'm not even sure if... This is actually really curious. Is the Chocobo invincible? No, you can hit the Chocobo while the person on the Chocobo is jumping. That's super crazy. Oh, never mind. Oh my god, it's like buggy. Jumping while on a Chocobo is buggy. That was very interesting, we learned a lot. They let me target him. And then my attack went through him. Alright, did I get the necessary job level? Time mage 4. That's what I wanted. Um, now I want to be a... Black mage, I guess? White mage? It doesn't really matter which one. Either one, I guess. Disco Vigilante? Shit, I gotta set up the thing so that we're doing the bath cup tomorrow. We're gonna do a little bit more grinding. Not having a second spell. Time to get black magic back on, finally. Yes, the classic. Two white mages, a thief, and a dragoon. <laughs> well, I don't need to be a dragoon, do I? There's literally no reason for me to be a dragoon. Um, what do I need points in? Thief I'm done with. Archer, I need a little more. Knight, I guess. Knight is what I actually need points in. I can equip that bloodsword. Sword is a pretty cool weapon. This. Trying to slip me by. Um, I'll get both, yeah. They're both a little gimped if you don't have any of the multiplayer content, which I don't. But I'll get both. I'll get every job on at least one character. Surprise, surprise, on your knights, one of the new classes. 
It's the other one. It's the one everyone forgets exists, even though it's actually the better one. Onion Knight is debatably the best class in the game. You could make arguments for some of the classes with literally overtly broken shit. Like the Mime and the, um... Uh... Barter Dancer. Barter Dancer are both pretty shit, but, like, there's just a bug that just makes them... Dancer in particular, that makes them, like, literally broken. If you have, there's a skill called uh, Vanish, that's a reaction ability, that when you get hit, you become invisible. And if you set yourself to dancing, when you're vanished, you only become visible when you take an action. So you can be invisible forever, as long as you don't do anything. If you're already dancing when you get that, when you get hit, you vanish, and then you continue dancing. So, for example, if you're doing the dance that reduces enemy health, then you'll just keep on doing that dance until all enemies are dead, and you're vanished so enemies can't target you. It's like, hi. It's really annoying to do fights on this map. Mime is one of the classes. It's one of the most broken classes in the game, in terms of goodness. It's a really silly class. The mime is just a reference. It's a fat reference to Final Fantasy V. Got five enemies. That might be it. Yeah, that's a Fisco Demon. Very footage of an actual Fisco Demon. Be brave. Promises attack should be pretty good because knights are strong. Damn, Chocobels is powerful. Chocobos, Chocobos go from being like pretty swole, like yellow things that can heal, to the black Chocobo can fucking cover the entire screen in one go and like fucking hit people for insane damage and has shit HP. They like basically like fully change like archetypes as enemies. Uh, standing here looks super scary, and yet I want to be able to hurt, hurt an enemy. Do I move here and just like cast a spell? Literally everything should fall over. Well, that won't fall over per se. Best damage I can manage. Ooh, that has bigger attack range. See, this is the reasons like this are why I gave myself shit faith on that character. I'm not gonna do that much damage to myself. I'd like to kill that chuckle. Well. Hard, I'm not strong enough. I'm magic as shit, what the hell? What am I equipping? Servant staff. Oh. Um. I'm really surprised my magic is that low. It must be bad compat, too. Let's actually attempt to look up the compat. Ah, this is a bunch of gibberish. This is Ares. It looks a little bit like a ram. Alright, so I've got like a red X. What does that mean? So this one's like the double... Double loopy thing. Fuck. Yeah, okay, this is bad compat. It's cancer. We both mutually do very low damage to each other. Well, I want to do something, so I'm just going to cure myself because I'm missing 2 HP. Therefore, I will get experience. Zap -de zap zap motherfucker! Bleh, 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 bleh. The Chocobo's still alive. 
counter should kill. I got experience for killing enemies with counters. Explain the zodiac system. Um, based on the character's birth month, they will do more or less damage to certain opponents. That's all the explaining I can do. She'll die. Another stealer. That chug was gonna kill her. You gotta be squidding me. Oh, I'm gonna kill a chocobo. No, I'm not, because I'm strong. Well, I could run away and just heal. That did a lot! I didn't get experience for that. I gotta fuck where this chocobo goes. It's toast. No, I do give a fuck. Oh, this is bad. It's not bad, per se. Please tell me that's not depth too, damn it. Which one was my original? Okay, this is one of graves. Not the odds. Well, that's annoying. This is actually getting super ugly. What the hell happened? I lost two units. I think my problem was that I didn't kill the Chocobo. That's probably the bad thing that I, that was the mistake I made. I should be able to jump over his head. I'd really like to kill him. Yeah, successful head jump. Let's check about CT50. Pretty sure I can resolve a spell before then. I can kill the chocobo while I'm in a good position. I should have actually cast a spell on it the first time. Please don't kill me somehow. Thank you. Yo, just making it close. Just making it close. If I missed that, that would have been shit. I need to move to a place where I can hit him. That's all. That's all I need. In fact, this counter attack on might just kill him. Yep. I didn't get experience for any of those counters. Fuck. Counter is useful, but like... Alright, my experience distribution that time wasn't so good. Oh yeah, I wanted I wanted Dragon Heart. I forgot. I forgot there's a grand purpose behind everything. She just needs to be a thief for a long fucking time. If I could get steel accessory immediately, that would be swell. Actually, move plus two is probably what I want immediately. I need to be knight level three. Be white mage level five. I basically need a bunch more grinding. Maybe now isn't the time to grind. Yeah, let's just go do the next fight. This team is fine for the next fight. Plump would arguably be more useful as a monk. Because it's high bravery, low faith. And uh, I need to actually be useful in this fight. Yeah, we're just gonna do it. We're gonna go in and do our thing. Uh, Dragoon is probably the way to go for HP. And we do want Steel. And we do want... 
concentration. There's two fights in a row here. Oh yeah, only Ramza. You can't take Ramza off that squad. Did I have two pigs? I wasn't paying attention. No, I did. That's good. My pigs are reproducing. That's super good. Wait, there. I'll open the gate. Remember when we got that tutorial on how gates worked? Does anyone remember that besides me? Rather, let it remain shut. There he is. You overlooked the ambush. Enemy summoner. Just one, though. So we got one team against another team. And also Ramza 1v1 against Gafgarian, which is a bit nerve wracking, but not that bad. You're basically forced to take that one. It's not a good way to avoid that. Let's check out what weapon he has. It looks like something new. You can just cast magic through here if you want to. You can even have like Ramza use teleport. You can just or like fly or any of the other like skills that let you just like bypass this wall and you can just leave Gafgarian over there and he can't do anything and it's funny. If you manage to get Ramza here, he can open the gate. And then your allies can help you kill Gafgarian. Or, if you kill Gafgarian, you can get Ramza here and open the gate, and then have Ramza help everyone else. But right now, it's two separate fights. Time magic would actually be super helpful right now. Wow, we can actually resolve a spell before only one enemy gets a turn. Which one is Vans? Is Roger the Archer? Vans is the Archer. One of the Archers. Alright, resolving a spell right here sounds pretty good. Actually, resolving a spell that'll hit the summoner sounds pretty good. I'm kinda surprised I have enough time to do this. I'd really like to be rid of the summoner though. If I could kill the summoner before he gets one turn, that would be cool. At least have good compat. Alright, yeah, he's done. He's toast. Turn one summoner kill. I shouldn't be able to interrupt either of these. That's a lot of damage, but you know. Um, I'd really like to just chalk her the earth right back up. I should have gotten in front of her. Right, look how good that start is. You don't even have to deal with the summoner at all. So now we've only got a bunch of melee units. Half of them can't even reach me. By half I mean one. Alright, so it looks like one of my white mages is just gonna get fucked. Ugh, that crit! That was shit. Seals weapon, I just need to kill him. This thing's weapon is not actually even like super important anymore. Um, I'd really like to kill that guy, but there's no place I can stand to kill him. I can't target any pair of characters no matter how I do it, so my best hope is to target this charging one. And try for the instant kill. I could remove no I can't even remove that unit. This is absolutely my best play. Nice. Still alive. Good. It's really hard to kill this guy because he restores HP like every time he does something. 
He gets all confused and can't figure out what to do if you jump on him. Um, haste is probably going to help me a lot in this fight. Our fire resolves immediately. So we kill... her. That's all. Is this my revive you one? Yeah, it is. So I also cast Raze, which actually is probably my best play. It's gonna waste enemy turns. I can still use revive on her, so she's not out of it. My monk is still healthy, and Agrius is hard to kill. I really like to kill this one. I want to know my numbers. Alba should give me a little look into things. That's not gonna do enough. Yet I think it's my best play. I basically need that. I need that sword. Or else I lose. Whoa, lucky. Alright, this is absolutely... This could be the run. Rom's over there. You could contribute somewhat. The archer's annoying. Best hope is to attack this guy. Let's have a go. I only need to keep her alive. It's better off Northwind striking myself. Or whatever it's called. Why is Ramza so slow? He should attack my white mage. And that's okay. Uh, she is, like, out of the picture, which is good. Why'd she rush? It's because I can't miss. This actually, like, I thought it was looked super bad for a second. Alright, Ramsa's about to open it up. And I should be able to jump on Gef Garing's head. Doesn't pull it, he punches it. Unfortunately, I'm missing a whole bunch of HP. That was... wow, everyone had like a giant fucking nothing between those two. It's getting really ugly because I need that character to be healthy. Oh my god. 
Um, I need to resurrect this almost dead mage. I'm in a really shitty position right now. Um... Yeah, I'm in a really shitty position right now. Ramza should beat Gefgarian in the 1v1. Um, I can do some damage to that guy, but... Oh wait, hold on, I get a spell. Use a bell. That's you, right? It's gotta be, she's like the one woman left. CT78. Muriel, no. Isabel must be this lady. Alright, so we get a spell off. And we can also... Okay, getting this cure off would be super swell. Because that means I might actually live through this next attack. It's super important that I do. I should have stayed where I was. It's better that, it's better that my white mage be targeted than my monk. Because my monk can bring dead units back to life. I didn't think about that one. Okay, she's going for Agrius, that's fine. That's sadly the best possible outcome. Alright, so I should be able to jump on Gethgarian's fucking head. And he should die. I'd be slightly better off right here. So I can move more easily. They're all going for Agrius. I don't need this. Agrius is so damn slow. I really want to just target that dude. I can't. If this revive misses, it's okay. Cool. Back in the fight. I could actually prep a raise on Agrius. I think is right about to die. Gefgarian's the only person who gets a turn between then and now. And he's gonna die. Gefgarian's actually dead, by the way. I feel cold. Instant crystallization. Um, I need to get the fuck in here. I need to do something really useful really fast. Like what? A uh, fat spell on someone who would hate it. Um, can I cast on this guy? That's a really big stretch. I don't know if I can get a spell that far out. Yeah, I can. Let's do this. Please work. Yeah, that's a lot of HP too. Dude, this is looking super good. I think I pretty much got this. This is one of the hardest fights in the whole game. If I was intelligent, I would have sealed the deal with him. I'd have attacked him with Agrius. That was like the ultimate play. Please no Thunderbolt, thank you. I really want to just swoop in with Ramza, but I also really want that crystal. Ramza could just kill this guy. But I really want that crystal. I think that was the better play. Start working on that archer.
If I don't move, I'll get my next turn faster. Um, another turn. I think I want to spend it doing absolutely fucking nothing. I think I'm out of the range of pretty much everyone. That guy, he's a bow or a crossbow? I don't know. There's nothing I can do to get out of the way of that. My best hope is to die in a convenient place. Or go to the middle of the field. Isabel. That's not this bitch, right? She's 70. He's... 70. She's up 90. Yep, I got the spell off. That's probably gonna kill this bitch. Knocking her down to critical so early was nice. Motherfuck. That actually could be really bad depending on how much MP I have left. Wow, I actually got her. I've charmed an enemy and then had the music Phoenix down on my ally. It's a fucking beautiful thing. I'd really like to bring my monk back to life. So what I'm gonna do is raise. Hopefully it works, but even if it doesn't, I'm really tempted to just grab this HP and MP. See what abilities we could get. Rush down and aim plus one. I do not want those. The MP is much more useful right now. I think I just win if I cast any fucking spell at all on this dude though. Oh, we've been lucky with our res resurrects this fight. That would been it would have been a lot more complicated had any of my resurrects failed. We got lucky as shit because I got the first steal on Gafgarian, and if I got any steal after the first, I would have died. I would have died before I could beat Gafgarian. I got lucky as fuck. If Ramza dies on that side, even if your other team does pretty well, like you're still kind of fucked. She won't even try to dodge because she's in love with me. Poked. That was a pretty good fight. That was like an apology for how bad the... Like, that fight is harder than the execution fight. That was like an apology for how bad the execution fight went. Alright, here's where I'm going to hate myself. Because I'm going to save over this file. Oops, I did it. You cannot... There's no... There's no... You can't be go back. You can't undo. Oh yeah, this! This is an added scene. This was not in the original game. They added more scenes with the Lido Nobilia. This is PSP exclusive! It's an empty one, wasn't it? Gafgarian must have failed yet again. What the fuck is this? Rams is not even present. These fights are super interesting. They're pretty hard to lose. But you have a very weird Delita. That's a pretty nice gear. I like how he's got the Germanus boots. Those are pretty good. They're move plus one, jump plus one. Just combine the spike boots and the battle boots. But his Holy Knight is weird. Like, they just didn't even try. They didn't even give a fuck. They didn't give one-tenth of a fuck. He's only got 235 experience, and he's only level 2. And yet he's had enough fucking... He's mastered every single thing. Same as, uh... Ovelia. 
Level 1 with 100, and she's mastered everything. They just did not even... Like, they never did that in the initial release. What kind of gear do you have? Kind of neat stuff. Stuff I wish I had. It's kind of cool to be able to play as Lita, but it's just amazing, like, the fucking... You can tell it's just a different team. Because they just did not give a shit. They utterly and completely did not give a shit. With the with the stats, with the believability. If Avelia dies, you lose, but it's honestly really hard for Avelia to die. You have to play pretty shit because Delita is really good. You have to like deliberately kill her. Good vertical range. Good morning to Europe. My Renation does not have good vertical range. All of these are like useful for different reasons. I'll kill this bitch. I'm pretty sure Divine Renation is my strongest. I'm level 25, and she's level 20. I want to look at her faith at Brave. I'm actually kind of curious what they are. Lita as well, I guess. Lita's 85-40. Lita's <laughs> not very faithful. She's 53-72. I'll try my to hit her. No. I'll hit him. 112. Very cool animation. Yeah, those are honestly really easy. Also, the enemies are just dizzy. little battles. Not get any gill or anything from them. Weird little battles. There's like four of those. I still have the one pig. Luke the pig. We should be more reproducing. So I don't need um, steel anymore. Um, I don't know what job I'd be best as. I'd definitely be best as a mystic, or like with mystic arts as one of my other characters. Um, probably Dragoon is right, but I want metal. Do I really? Does it matter? I guess it doesn't matter. I'm mostly going to be jumping, I think. If I could get Dragoon's Dragon Heart and then put it on. I don't even know if he'll activate it though. Boss can be a bitch. As long as, because I've got flare, I should be alright. Thief is honestly not gonna help me at all. Uh are any of these useful? Some of these might be useful. It's time to pick that up. I literally never got anything with this character. Europe is a stupid spelling of Europe, like the continent. Rend magic would be okay for just this fight. But it would be useless for the rest of the playthrough. Knight has almost nothing worth having. Parry is the only thing even remotely worth having, and even then it's remotely it's ridiculously outclassed by everything else. I literally have nothing I can do with my second action. Anywhere on Plomp. Um, this is honestly fine. Uh, Kiraga might help a lot this fight. Shell and Protect might also help a lot. Wall is just Shell plus Protect. If I could grab that, that would be super helpful. Asuna would be actually insanely helpful this fight. You can use four or five characters depending on the fight. Raze would be super helpful. Let's have two healers. So 
this is Izzo. So I'd much rather have Mystic Arts for this fight. Mystic Arts is really good for these kinds of bosses. I don't know what I want to grab. Holy is not that expensive, it's only 600. It's a lot less than Flare, considering I think it's stronger than Flare. Everything I just did, I'm going to need to do every single time if I lose this. You really don't want your characters that close to each other. Unfortunately, there's pretty much no way around that. Time magic, but also arguably kind of useful. This is a hard fight. It's actually, like, it's kind of a weird fight, because it's designed so that you can win even if your team isn't super strong, or even if you're fully unprepared for it. Oh, I forgot Ramsa's position didn't matter, which actually left me with the worst possible team position once Ramsa was out of it. got a big bad boss right now. This guy is a real meanie. stone you hold can twist the very weave of nature. Oh, he has one too, remember? Oh fuck! Oh... Uh... This is bad. Well, look at that, it's fucking Kukulin. Kukulin the Impure. Slides light to watch you die. That bitch is fat. Remember this guy? He was an FF12. In fact, he, w him, in that game was a reference to this boss battle. This happened first. So look at that. This is shit. Yep. It's interesting that I had a zero percent chance of working on her. Wonder why. Okay, how does this shit work? I've never used this like skill like ever. Purification. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. All right, back in the fight. So this does a fuck ton of damage because it's damage based on percentage of HP. I have one flare. I have a bunch of Lazars I can cast. That's good. Um. Pretty good odds here. Yeah, I got him. He's drained 126 HP. That's one tenth, I mean, one twentieth of his health. So I just, I just did, I've just done about two thirds of his health already, or not two thirds, well yeah, about two thirds. This fight is basically going really well, unfortunately he's doing that. This is the most annoying thing that he can do. Didn't get any status elements whatsoever, so that went pretty well. fucking run over and hit him, right? You might notice that he's, um... He has an unknown everything. I can't even look at his stats or whatever. We can't even look at Kukulin and what it means and what the fuck his class is. The Imp here. He has all these real stats, but we can't look at them. We can't even see his CT. I 
experience for that. Hope this works. I'm gonna be in a bad position if it doesn't. If it does work, I basically instantly win. Oh, I already won! That was fast! That was a really fast fight. Jesus Christ. That went perfectly. That literally went perfectly. I took all the appropriate precautions. Like, everything worked out exactly according to plan. I was like, I need the Mystic Arts. I'm gonna cast Big Flare. I'm gonna fucking get uh, Stigma Magic, whatever it's called. The fucking thing that lets you heal sleep. And various other bad status, negative, whatever. Here, my master can return. Everything went exactly according to plan. I thought I'd have to stab him again with Ramza. So we killed um, the Cardinal. Oops. He turned into a blob and then we killed them and then now we have the Zodiac Stone. All in all, pretty successful. We had such like hard time with that fucking execution. Now everything's going well. I'm really glad that I went back and did the execution, right? I'm really glad. I'm like happy that I didn't just go through with the save state run. Dude, it's uh, Orion and TG Sid. I am Delita Hyrule. So this guy, we've only seen him like one time in the fucking in the chronicle. But this is Duke Goltana. This is the um. This is the other guy besides Larg. A Black Ram Lieutenant in the service of His Excellently the Baron Grimms. This guy is one of your own sheep and lion's clothing. That's a name I've not heard before. Hmm. I thought Baron Grimms and his Black Rams felled in battle against the Eye of Fortnite past. Basically, Delita has an unverifiable past. I didn't get that for a long time. I didn't understand how Delita managed to infiltrate them. He lied his way into uh, knighthood. Bishop Ken Birek. She's weary yet from her long journey. Um, the artist for this game did some other stuff. Tactics Ogre, yes. Definitely. Absolutely, yes. This game was made by the entire Tactics Ogre staff. This is just a Tactics Ogre game with a Final Fantasy coat of paint. I don't know who the fuck this guy is. This is actually a very clever scene, as is every scene in this game. Twist the saying Duke Goldhanna's name to keep him from Lasalia. That's arguably true. That is absolutely not true. It was Lark who wanted the princess kidnapped. This is just a lie. None among us would fain betray our Duke. Silence this man, he knows not what he speaks. was the man who stands before me. Stop this mummer's farce. This guy is honestly probably innocent. I like how TG Sid fucking in the back there reached for his sword when Delita was um pulling out his sword. Gigi said, "Like I'm gonna, I'm, I'll fuck something up if I have to." TG said's the best character, and I mean that in several ways. TG said could kill everyone in this room by himself. I don't know what the fuck they were thinking with TG said. I'll talk more about him when he actually becomes relevant. But I don't know what the fuck they were thinking. He's like the like what the fuck were they thinking the character? He's just completely insane. I've never had a video game do anything like what this game does by giving you DG Sid. Alright, so I basically lied and had it backwards. Lark supported the prince, and Goltana supported the princess. 
I had it the other way around. So this is the War of the Lions. It's happening. Neat. An MMO fighter, Dungeon Fighter Online. Fort Besselat. Maybe we'll come here someday. The Baron of Volmina. Helmdor. Blanche. We may find ourselves no better off. Has the time has no has not the time come to chart a course for peace? Sid is all about that piece. What better time to treat for peace? A kingdom cannot exist without our people, Exelene, no more than we can. In the 50 years of war, who bore a greater burden than they? What do you think of now with higher taxes? Our soldiers are made to fight on rations that would scarce feed a child at his mother's skirts. of a coward. Fifty years of war was fought on drive back an invasion on our sovereign soil. We were on it bound to fight. Your title is Illyrian Thunder God Sid. Your gentle words would sooner stir a breeze. Wow, he just insulted fucking Sid, and Sid insulted him back. Orlando, that's Sid. Sidolphus Orlando. This game is extremely political. <gasps> We're already on Chapter 3! Chapter 1 and 2 are both only 10 mandatory fights each. Chapter 3 is like 40. <laughs> chapter 3 takes a while. This is Final Fantasy Tactics, it's extremely political. And then it's not. Because it gets interrupted, everything gets interrupted. Exactly the same way that Final Fantasy XII was extremely political before everything got interrupted. Yay. Yay. So this is, like, the capital, I guess, of all this bullshit. You can see all the lines meeting here. All the lines meet here, too. Port City. I don't know what these lines mean. This is, uh... I forget what this place is. It's the place that sank. We haven't gotten any of the lore of religion. This game has, a. Uh, this game is... We haven't gotten to any of that yet. This game, um, has an interesting thing that happens. So this is a town, and this is a town. So if you move back and forth between these two towns, you can breed animals and shit past time. We have nothing to get from Dragoon. We can change jobs. What do we want to work on? Night, right? Ramza is still purple. We've not changed Ramza's yet. We want to go to... What do we want to go to? Archer's done. Thief. A whole bunch of thief levels. Female dragoon's so cute. We also need a little bit more knight. Now we got all the knight we need. We need more thief, that's it. That's all we need is just a fuck ton more thief. Ton more white mage. Want to be level five white mage? It's gonna take a while. Same deal, same deal. I 
grab Holy. Holy's pretty good. Resign Black Magic. High Magic is honestly the most useful because I have a big attacking spell in Holy. Holy costs a lot of MP. What am I looking at here? 56. I get one cast of that. If I equip an actual magic hat, I can have two additional casts. The lack of speed is not something I'm willing to settle for. Everyone is what they need to be. I didn't forget. Let's go ahead and check the shop and then I might be done for the night. Also, we now have a poacher's den. We can buy bags. Also, we can buy... Oh, fuck. Let's get that. The t twist headband. It's attack plus two. I will be wearing this for the rest of the playthrough. Guys are fine. So we have a new fucking bags are weird. Bags are female only, and they're they have a huge they have like high attack power but ridiculous damage randomization. Also, they give you magic, or this one does. Maybe I'll give you some stat. Crocodile bag. I think that was just the C bag in the initial one. And then there was the H bag or something, and then the FS bag. There's like three bags in the game. They're all female only. Female only is like the main reason that women are better than men in this game. There's a bunch of female-only items, and I don't think any male-only items. And the female-only items, some of them are just ridiculously stupid. Mainly the perfumes. So we've got um, an Iron Flail. That's Squires and Ninjas. And also it's dual wield available. One-handed. It does randomize damage. We also have um, Ninja Swords right there. Ninja Blade. See so the little kunai icon. Ninja exclusive. We got the samurai exclusive gear too. You can dual wield samurai swords. You just get money way too fast in this game. Uh, what do I want to do? I really want to breed my goddamn pigs. I also want to grind. I'm gonna check out what happens when I step on this map. I don't remember what this fight is. I might remember what this fight is. I agree, this is cute. If this is that big step, no, it's not, because that's not on the town. This is the heretic fight. Oh, this is this fight! Oh, I'm always in the mood to do this fight. This is the best fight in the whole game. This little dweeb who appears. Take a close look at him. He's one of the most important characters in the game. He might actually be the most important character in the game. A mediator. Order. It's like one of fucking three enemy orders in the whole playthrough. Surprise, motherfuckers. Protect Oran. He's gonna be protecting me. This guy's neat. He's a neat character. He's casting something. What the fuck is he casting, I wonder? Prudence. That's a nice Christian name. I swear to god if you steal that. Okay, thank you. I'd have had to whack myself. What could he be charging? Why are female thieves black? You know, knocks him off. Okay. Is that guy's name Little John? Cool name. Sticky 
sticky fingers. That's the reaction command that makes it so you catch things that are thrown at you. Pretty sure jumping can't miss. Oh, am I not even... I'm not even a... I'm a knight now. Doesn't matter. That's a powerful gun! That's probably a mithril gun. Yeah. Eight attack. I think he had positive. Oh yeah, let's look at Orion real fast. Astrologer! A unique class. Hermes shoes. Plus one speed. Very brave, very faithful. Because he's a guest, we can actually look at his um, skills. A learned augur who uses astrology to manipulate fate and sway the course of battle. Astrologer. So it's just, it's literally just um, Squire with the skill of Celestial Stasis. Halt the course of all enemies' guardian stars, rendering them completely unable to act. Range self, radius all enemies, speed 20, effects, stop, immobilize, disable. That is bar none the best skill in the game by a pretty generous margin. Damn it. Damn it, stop. Extremely high success rate. Disable, immobilize, and stop on every enemy. Hello? Which one are you? If that's Crookie, I'm fucked. Damn it. <laughs> I can't res him! I have to win the entire fight and... No, I have raise on both of my mages. I'm okay. Immobilize, stop, and disable. So they can't move, they can't act, and also they're not having any CT movement. Holy shit, this skill. And it costs no MP. And it hits everyone on the field. Are you guys fully taking into account just how insane this is? Got the one I missed earlier. I think. Oran, slow down. This fight is just a joke fight. Okay, that guy's still alive. If he attacks my fucking character I just brought back to life, I'm gonna be so annoyed. Motherfucker. Just keeps on casting it. No. This is literally just go around like whacking people. The fight. I guess these fucking battle boots. Stop swearing off, but they still haven't mobilized and disable. And also, I can still cast it on them again. He'll actually attack with this book if he manages to get everyone um, with this skill. Ah, oh, he got that guy. Immobilize and disable last a bit longer. This fight is honestly just a joke fight, just a fucking... It's just to show you that Orion exists. I'd really like to kill the guys with the guns.
Level 20 enemies. This animation is slow as fuck on the PSP. Without that patch drum. Which makes this fight very, very annoying. Because he casts it a lot. enemies can't dodge if they're um, stopped. I want to cast holy on someone. I want to feel that feel. That holy cast. Jesus Christ, it does so much damage. This guy... Wait, where am I casting this? Did I just cast on that dude? Alright, let's kill that top guy. Let's remove this guy from the fucking... the world. This guy's getting removed. thing I like about this Final Fantasy game compared to other Final Fantasy games is there's nothing stopping you from just getting everything right at the beginning of the game. You could have a calculator before the third fight. In fact, that's like the actual strategy for um, uh, solo runs. Also, this game has a really cool solo run. That's like a really great challenge run if you want to like play this game and have a good time. Is uh, play the game and... Uh... I really want to steal one of those. You can buy them later. Play the game and, uh, only use Ramza. It makes it, like, a lot harder, but it, harder in an interesting way. It makes the game harder, but you have to, like, reevaluate, like, the kinds of things that you would do to win. If I had Divine Ruination, that guy would be dead. I guess it's so slow. This would be an honestly like a really hard fight if they just didn't go completely insane with this skill. Uh, he should attack with a book pretty soon because he's literally stopped everyone on the field. Pretty sure he's going to attack with a book. I don't have... Fuck. I don't have martial arts. How did I not notice that until now? Book attack! Oh, what the fuck is he doing? What are you doing? He's got aim! He's charging aim! He's aiming his book! That is the stupidest thing I've ever thought of. Good thing I have two resers. Poor Crookie's been dying non-stop this whole fight. She'd be able to stay sore with this bitch, and she should die. Except for the dying part. Nice aim plus one. Aim plus one book. Oh! The 86 minutes. This happens sometimes. Book has infinite vertical range, you can attack that thief. Book is a really weird weapon. There's a harp that's really good. Uh, if this raise misses and then the next raise misses, I'm fucked. That's 14% uh, times 14%. Basically not very bloody likely.
Oh my god. I could game over. I couldn't game over, but like... <laughs> I'm scared. Killer, killer of the book. If Ramza gets an attack off, I'll win too. Kirky could die. I've never ever had, like, I've, I, I thought this fight was like impossible to even, like, I can't believe I've had as many characters die as I have. Okay. We didn't get fucking Ultra Omega unlucky. Oh my god, I'm glad that didn't pay off. Dragonheart! I have it. Every time you take damage or anything happens to you, you get re-raise. Rock to the face, dead. I really should have waited this fight out, but Oram probably would have killed her. But like, being able to hop on some crystals from Thebes would have been nice. I got a battle folio, how appropriate. It's the weapon Oram was using. Let's ask him to join my team. He'd be useful. He always says I'm fine. I've never seen him die in the last fight. I don't even know if you game over if he dies because he never dies. Oran Durai. Remember that name, it's important. This is one of the most important people in the Order of the Southern Sky under Goltana. Not the Order of the Southern Sky, because that's, I think, the military team. Rather, this is just one of the most important people under Duke Goltana. And I'm a Beelf, which is the most important people under Larg. He just... I don't know this about him. Well, I do, because I just saw him in the last cutscene standing next to TG Sid. But the Ramza doesn't know about him, that he's, like, one of the biggest uh, opposing side guys. But we have a nice little um, interaction here. That might come back to us someday, or maybe not. We'll have to wait and see. Very interesting, man. Same exact ship, but less. We got the wing boots from afloat. Kind of cool, but not super important. Mage power gloves. Plus two magic. Pretty good. Reflecting is perma reflect. All these things are super useful. New Kai armlet and whatnot. These accessories, like, if you're in the right place at the right time, these are like game changing. If you into confuse and charm, have dark. Alright, now I'm done for the night. Almost 1 am. I'm sleepy. How long did I stream? Like 4 hours? Give or take? Hours, 15 minutes. All right, night.